Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave a comment that's reading resonates. Let's go ahead and jump to it. I'm sorry, I, I got thirsty, y'all. Okay. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Sagittarius? What messages do you have for a sign of Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Let's see. Sag Nation. I've had a lot of people ask me what my sign is. I'm a Sagittarius with a lot of Scorpio placements. Yes, I am a Sag as well. Okay, spare love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of session? <laughs> you know, it was funny because one reading I did, and then someone had posted, you don't, you must not know Sagittarius very well. <laughs> but I was just like so tickled by the comment because I was like, little do you know, I actually am a Sagittarius. Oh, It's a lot going on, Sagittarius. It is a lot going on. I'm getting that you guys are very confused about what to do. I'm the energy that I'm picking up on is someone who has several people coming towards you. Several people from the past, several new people coming towards you. There are a lot of beginnings taking place in your life. You got people that want to try things, try things again with you. You got someone that wants you to move towards a new direction with them. You have someone that wants you to start over. And you're like, I am so confused. So, the challenge here is stress. With the overall energy being rejection. We'll see why these two are. Someone could be stressed that you're going to end up rejecting them because I'm not getting that's your energy. It's like they're overthinking things. What's the root of this situation? Oh, I, you know what? The root of this issue is karma. I'm getting y'all are enjoying teasing someone here. Like, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I am getting a Sagittarius that is teasing some people. Because you know there are some people that really wants to be with you. Some people, this is their karma. Because you're like, you'll never be able to touch me ever, either again or at all. And this is some the consequences to their actions. Someone who really wants to be with you. And they're like stressed about you rejecting them. But you're like, oh, but you were good on your own. You ghosted me. You were fine with not talking to me. You were. And so now you're in this energy of you can't touch me. Don't even look at me. Because you know it's going to torture this person to not have you in their life. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. You got someone who turned their back on this situation in the past. What's the energy coming towards Sagittarius? What's the energy coming towards Sagittarius? Someone wants to return to you because you're so kind-hearted, you're so beautiful, you're so graceful, you're so charming. And they want to return, they want to make amends, they can't stop thinking about you. And they're just losing their mind over this connection. What is being let go of in this situation? What is being let go of in this situation? I mean, this is good. Someone is releasing. Oh, wow. They, whoa. Whoa. It's a lot that's being released. They're releasing some sort of resentment, some sort of negative mindset. They're releasing this heartbroken, sh feeling shattered type of energy that trigger them to do mixed signals. They're letting go of feeling abandoned some abandonment issues. This is someone who's working out a lot. Someone could also be uh, letting go of a family dynamic that brought a lot of confusion. That's a side note for someone. Why is, why is all of this what's being let go of here? Because we'll, we'll keep these two and we'll put the rest back. But why is that what's being let go of? Why is that what's being let go of? In order to have a second chance with you. In order to have a second chance. You still have a rejection popping up. So you guys may still reject this person, but just know that they are working things out. They like when they come back towards you, um, getting that is really they're coming from a positive place. But I'm definitely getting that you guys could possibly still reject this person because you don't trust them. I mean, ultimately you still feel like there's some sort of dishonesty, deception, trickery that they need to come clean of, or it's, it's just, I don't get that you trust this person. How does this person view Sagittarius? How does this person view Sagittarius? Okay, so they're viewing you as they they think that you're waiting for them to make some sort of confession here. But they are viewing you as someone that they want to grow closer with. They want to bind with you. They also want to confide in you as well. Because I'm getting that you're someone that they could talk to. Like you guys had a great connection here with intimacy. But Sagittarius has that energy like where people feel safe to connect with a Sagittarius like because Sagittarius are honest individuals like they're very trustworthy they challenge people to view things from a higher pers uh, pers perspective so you usually people usually feel comfortable with you because you do have good intentions towards people How does Sagittarius view this person? How does Sagittarius view this person? How does Sagittarius view this person? So you view this person as being hot and cold with you, 
giving you like I mean this is someone that you're feeling that's conflicted about some sort of decision that they need to make and that's what's triggering this hot and cold type of energy with you but you're also viewing this person as wanting to apologize to you wanting to return like they feel sorry how does this person feel towards Sagittarius how does this person feel towards Sagittarius They feel like you're, they feel like you're hiding, wanting to make peace with them. Like they feel like they know you want to make peace with them, but you're not, you're, you're keeping that a secret. We'll, we'll dive deeper into that. What is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? What is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Intentions shows like what actions this person is most likely to take. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? What do they intend to do? To run to their intentions is to allow their arrogance, their arrogant as ego, stubbornness to stand in the way of this connection, to ghost you again, to disappear again, to pull some sort of invisible act, disappearing act. How does Sagittarius feel towards this person? How does Sagittarius feel towards this person? You feel like this is someone that you you did want to establish some sort of foundation with. You wanted a family with this person. You also wanted to offer security to this person. But you feel like this connection is just hopeless. Either it, you feel like it's just falling apart, but you feel like it's just it's, it's hopeless at this point. There's nothing that you can do about it. But this is someone that you ultimately were hoping to establish a connection with. And you had nothing but love for this person. But this person has exhausted you. Like, it, it's nothing. You don't have anything left to give. Like, they have literally exhausted you. What is Sagittarius' intentions towards this person? What are Sagittarius' intentions towards this person? Your intentions is that if, uh, first of all, I'm getting that you're not going to chase after this person, but you do hope that this person will shock you and return. And if they were to shock you and return, you would love to open your heart to be receptive, to be vulnerable, at least to express the way you truly feel and to let it be that, even if you can't move towards a relationship with this person, but you do want to at least pour your heart out to this person and just let things be known and just let it go if nothing else. This is definitely someone you did want a commitment with. What is your advice for Sagittarius? What is your advice for Sagittarius? not to repeat not to repeat the same pattern again you guys learned this lesson already if something triggers like a lot of confusion where you're uncertain it's unclear you're unsure then it's a repeated pattern you've already learned this lesson don't repeat it again and that's with past new if they cause some sort of confusion some sort of chaos You've already learned that lesson. Don't go down that road again.
I'm getting you already did this. You let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. So I'm um, definitely, you have someone that would love to go back in time and to change the things that they did, the decision that they made. But I'm already getting this energy of you. You have released this connection because you realize that it's toxic. This is a lesson that you were... I knew this was coming, Sagittarius. I told you it was... But see, you guys are needing to clear away another energy. Uh, oh, because you finally let the past go. Woo! I'm literally about to jump out of my seat. I'm so freaking happy. I just love love and I love like to see when because I know this stuff is real. So I'm really excited for whoever this is for because you learned the lesson you finally let the past go i'm getting whoever this is for it was hard as hell for you to let this person go this was one of the most difficult things you had to do was to let someone from the past go to finally release someone because you finally did it Is it true, Sagittarius? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Someone missed their opportunity to be with you because it looks like somebody is spoiling the hell out of you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like... Boom, shaka, laka, laka. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. This is so good. Someone who didn't give you anything is about to watch you get everything. That's going to be the title of your reading. Oh my, I can't make this stuff up. You guys watch me shuffle these cards. Someone who didn't give you anything is about to watch you get everything. You deserve that's what you need to remember. This is what you deserve. You guys have attracted someone who knows your worth and they're about to spoil the hell out of you. Whew. This is too good. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. I, I wish this was live because I, I will literally tell you guys, like, don't let me forget the title of your, <laughs> your reading. I, I'm literally, I'm like, I probably won't even try to come up with titles in the future. I will just, this is the love reading. This is general because, woo, trying to figure out titles. I'm like, okay, spirit, what, what are we calling this one? Because I don't even remember what we were talking about half the time. They're letting you know the future of someone who ghosts you. I'm single. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures, growing old together. I want it all. It's, it's really sad because the person that ghosts you, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. They're about to be single or they are single. I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time, they're going to be single and daydreaming about life with you. What's crazy is I feel like this is, liter this is literally what they put you through. Because you're not single. Somebody is spoiling you. The same person that ghosted you. I mean, the tables have turned because I'm literally getting like you guys went through that. Like you were single for some time, wondering like what was going to happen in this connection. It's insane.
the spec I, I gotta write this down. Let me not forget that title. The same person that didn't give you anything is about to watch you get everything. Woo! All right, Sash. I'm really excited for whoever this is for. <laughs> okay, come on, come with it, come with it, come with it. Let me get this. This is real good. I'm really excited about this energy. This is really good. way that was coming i'm just trying to see give me a second this is very well these cards are slippery as hell because they're still pretty new who okay Y'all have someone that you can depend on coming your way. Karma, you know what? The same person that this, this is too good. I'm, I'm just going to dive into this real quick. Because the same person that took their time, they took their precious time. They just knew they could pop up on you whenever they please. They're about to get their karma because they didn't do right by you. So now they're having to answer for it. Because they're coming towards you with this this little Knight of Pentacles energy. And you're like, you don't got nothing to offer me. I got the king, baby. I got the king. I'm talking to a Sagittarius who in the past... You did not have boundaries in place. With the Queen of Swords being in reverse, it was like you didn't speak your truth. You weren't sure of who you were as a person, and you definitely did not have boundaries. You allow people to cross the line every time. Your lesson to be learned was to establish boundaries, self-respect, self-worth. Because I'm definitely getting you guys dealt with a lot of inconsistent energy and manipulation. And people were eased because the magician is coming up. The Knight of Wands and the magician is coming up in the upright. But I'm getting toxic energy from it. So I'm getting that people are easily, they were easily able to manipulate you. But I'm going to tell you what, the Sagittarius that I'm talking to now... You no longer rush into situations without thinking it through. You realize your worth now. And even though you may be excited for a connection, you're still willing to take your time. You think before you act now. And that was the whole point of you going through what you did to establish boundaries. To learn what are your boundaries before you manifest as something new here. The current energy that's popping up, you have someone definitely coming towards you. And what you're going to end up telling this person is you don't want to work towards this. You don't see this as something that you want to fight for anymore. That person, because temperance is your energy. 
it's going to hurt like hell for this person to not have you in their life. To know that you are officially over them. And some of you guys are in another connection. It's going to feel like their world has completely come to an end. Because it's going to take this person a long time to get over this. I'm getting this person is actually going to feel betrayed by you. Like they have the audacity to think that you are going to sit around and wait for them. No, someone who's offering you stability comes towards you while they were playing games. Taking their precious time to come towards you. To offer some sort of commitment. Only to give you like a petty ass offer. But someone who's just popping up in your life is giving you like everything that they can. This is someone who's well established as well. It's like the same person. It's like that was playing games and took forever to come towards you. When they finally come towards you, they, they still not offering you everything. They're still holding back. And they got the nerve to feel betrayed. Woo, this is intense. messages and we will wrap this up say if it was three that's one one too many i could do up to three but that was way too much this came out some of y'all could be dealing with the libra this came out in the same position as the libra y'all could have a libra that's interested in you whatever the situation is they're asking you to trust it So you guys have a connection. It looks like you have someone that wants to get to know you better. They're going to be asking people to help them out to, or at least trying to get to know you through some other people that you're close with, that you guys are close to. And this is a situation you can trust. But then there's also this connection that you're freeing yourself from. Or the person that you're dealing with is also going through some sort of separation that there was unrequited love that they're freeing themselves from. So you guys could be going through the same thing at the same time and you guys come together. Yeah, because it's definitely someone that you're about to be flirting with. Or this is someone that's going to be there for you while you're going through this difficult time. 
everyone's situation is going to be different, but I'm definitely getting someone who's definitely wanting to get to know you better and they're asking people to help them out as well. Oh yeah. This you're also gonna end up spending some time with this person. Like two of you gonna end up spending some time alone. It's a lot of I mean y'all could end up getting intimate with each other as well, because I'm not getting that this is someone that you've been intimate with yet. But this is someone that's gonna make you really happy. It's gonna be a lot of passion between you and this person. Whew. Getting to know each other on a deeper level as well. Pay attention to the red flags. Y'all are going to be paranoid. Y'all are going to second guess whether to express your love to this person. Y'all are going to be coming up with it's and it's but realize acknowledge whether you, what you are fearing is it made up or are you creating these fears because of being hurt in past situations because i'm seeing you guys being very cautious to express your love to this person because you did it in the past and when you did it in the past i'm getting someone telling themselves but the last time i did this they end up doing this but that's they're they're not that person they're a different person so they're cautioning you not to do that because you have this as someone that you can trust so i'm going to leave it there sagittarius these are the messages that came through for you at this time be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care